Partnerships are, are key to everything we do at Auckland Art Gallery at Toyo Tamaki, and I think um, never more so than at a time of, of constrained finances, but I think these partnerships allow for um, extraordinary relationships and possibilities. And always our presentation of these Lindauer paintings have been a result of a partnership. This has grown obviously to the Alt National Gallery and uh, the, the National Gallery in itself, because the Alt National Gallery is a building unto itself, but the National Gallery is a consortium of 17 museums with shared collections which allowed for a lot of fluidity and possibility in Germany. Then obviously the partnership with the Gallery of West Bohemia and then for uh, de Young Museum with de Young, also um, with central government through foreign affairs, through Ministry of Culture and Heritage, through tourism. Uh, and so uh, that's exciting to be working on a diplomatic level as well. I think if you look at the world of museums, I always look at it as a community of friends and uh, also as a, as a vast network of cultural exchange and international dialogue. And I think that's today more important than ever. And I have to say that especially our colleagues at the Auckland Art Gallery are not only great friends, but they also understand the great, great value of cultural exchange and supporting each other. So I think that has been the basis of this project and that is the basis of many further future collaborations and we feel not only as colleagues but as friends who have one joint mission. So the opportunity to take this smaller selection of work, uh, 32 paintings, to San Francisco is thrilling because uh, obviously uh, many decades ago a small number of the paintings were shown at St. Louis, uh, won the award of course for the collector, for Partridge, not, not, for, uh, not for Linda himself, but to be able to uh, allow the opportunity for that connection between uh, an artist who obviously engaged really powerfully with 19th century and 20th century Maori culture but also to uh, discuss the, the position of portraiture uh, within um, a, a global context is, is I think offers new opportunities and obviously we're reaching out through uh, Hiro, our Maori advisory group, uh, we're reaching out to Maori communities and indigenous communities in San Francisco. I mean a lot of ways, great connection between Auckland and San Francisco to very uh, multicultural communities so uh, that's a very important part of the context of viewing this work as well. The collaborations we've had in order to have these exhibitions hap happen have led to a stronger sense of who we are as Māori, but who the indigenous people are of, of countries, such as today when we met the indigenous people of the land on which this museum sits. And we feel that we're at home, that we're part of one whānau. So that collaboration is really important and, and exciting for us. This project would not have been possible without the New Zealand government support that we received. It made it possible for us to expand the exhibition and to, um, to really offer um, a richer selection of Gottfried Lindauer's work for consideration. So um, we were so pleased um, when the Auckland Art Gallery let us know that it was a go and uh, we started to schedule the additional um, shipment. We, we appreciate the fact that uh, the New Zealand government and their support of this exhibition has been profoundly important in touring it and making this a reality. So we are very grateful and we're very humbled and we're very, very mindful that their support is what makes these things happen. So in that regard, we do want to acknowledge the New Zealand government, the Cultural Diplomacy International Program, which this funding to make this project happen has come from, and to Puni Kōkiri, and the Ministry of Cultural Heritage um, back home. Uh, without their support, uh, we cannot do what we do and bring these amazing works to share with you all in San Francisco and in America for the first time. Oh look, I'm a very strong believer in the government making sure we promote New Zealand at every opportunity. We are a, a nation that, that punches above our weight in just about everything we do, but we have to sell ourselves to the world. And that means taking exhibitions, that means taking trade shows, it means taking business uh, activities out into the world. 
And so an exhibition like this shows what our true culture and background is. There, there are about 5,000 themes running through that. And as you see San Franciscans coming to watch it, they learn more about New Zealand, they'll be attracted to New Zealand. And you know what? Hopefully that adds to our tourism and the Americans that want to come down and share the experience of our wonderful nation. We should do more of these. We should do lots more of these. And I think this one has worked exceedingly well. I'll be reporting back to ministerial colleagues that this has been a fantastic success. I think in many ways we are the partners, the most central partnership for the story of Gottfried Lindau and the gallery is really with the descendants and with the Lindau family, the descendants of Lindau himself. And a special thank you and welcome to the descendants of Lindau and Partridge. Uh, these, these stories continue uh, into today and into the future. And tonight it's very special, of course, to welcome this exhibition back from De Young Fine Arts Museum in San Francisco. Well, look, it was a real uh, privilege and pleasure to be here as part of the new tune and the welcome back of Beth Tolman, uh, amazing uh, paintings, which are actually now part really of our, our country's heritage and the whakapapa of our country as well. Um, so, you know, a great evening to be part of. I think it was about celebrating who we are as a nation and as a people and uh, to see not only the taonga, but Ngauri Whakaheke, the descendants of these tipuna, the descendants of uh, Lindawa, and also the descendants of the partridge, Fano, the three key elements coming together and uh, bringing this part of the journey, uh, not to an end, but certainly to its natural conclusion at, at this point, and preparing and having that breath in between its next journey.